Hi folks, welcome to this week's Shedcast. Hope you're all okay. Um, I'm just uh, going to have to keep it short this week uh, because it's nearly time for Debbie to arrive. <laughs> so I'm going to have to crack on. Um, so, how are things? Well, it's been a bit of a weird week um, here this week, to be honest. So, um, on Friday, uh, Dave came home with hay fever and we were like, oh God, oh God, you know, hope it doesn't turn into a cold um, because we knew that if I, if he did and then I caught it, I might not be able to do my race, which is on Saturday, tomorrow. So we were kind of like, oh, you know. Um, anyway, so it, it carried on and it seemed to carry on being hay fever. We went got in the car went down to his mum and dad's because we had a whole weekend planned for their birthdays um as it happened it poured down all weekend anyway but that's neither here nor there as it turns out because then on saturday morning i got up and went for my run and whilst i was out on my run got a message saying it's covid shit so um I, I, I don't know why it just hadn't even occurred to us. Sorry, the dogs have just walked in. Hello. Um, I just I hadn't even crossed our minds because he didn't seem that ill. He basically just had a headache and was tired. So um, anyway, I got back from my run and and the back door was open and uh, his mum was kind of like stood waiting for me. Um, and was like, oh, have you heard the news? Um, yeah, I've got terrible news. And I said, uh, oh, you know, that it's COVID, yeah, I know. Said, How do you know? I said, well, they messaged me while I was on my run. Anyway, but she was really, really, really stressed about it because his dad has got diabetes. Um, I can never remember which type's which. It's, it's one where it's hereditary. So he's had it all his life. But she was really, really worried because <coughs> Oh, sorry, I should have shut them in, shouldn't I? Because, um, you know, if he gets an infection, it really messes with his blood sugar. Hang on one sec. Ebony! Sorry. <laughs> That's probably really loud for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so she was really, really worried about Kieran catching it. So we said, oh, well, I'll just get my shower, have a quick bite to eat, and then we'll go. Um, but of course she didn't really want that she didn't want us to go she didn't want us to stay she was really really stressed and I was trying to get away to go and get my shower because I was sopping wet like it was wetter than an otter's pocket on Saturday I was soaked and I was cold um, but she just like was carrying on at me I was like I need to go and get my shower um, and, but of course yeah she, she didn't want us to go but you know also didn't really want us to stay so we were like look the decision's made we'll go so we jumped back in the car and headed home but then of course i was really stressed because i was like god you know we traveled together on friday night we were unmasked in the car and ah uh, if i've got covid well my race is definitely off um and i didn't really want to travel back home in the car with him either uh, but we masked up and we did and it was fine so we came back home uh, so then yeah basically we've spent the whole of the rest of the week until yesterday so obviously I'm filming this again on Friday so almost the entire week spent um, completely living separately in the house we, and we're very very lucky that we can do that but I knew he'd probably want to play on his PlayStation whilst he was off ill and stuff. So I said, well, you have downstairs and I'll decamp upstairs because um, our bedroom's got two windows. So it's really nice and light and bright and airy. Um, so that was fine. But then on Monday night, um, I went for a sports massage on my legs, which is a great thing to do before an ultra. Um, and while I was there, excuse me, oh, sorry, whilst I was there, the physio said, oh, do you want me to have a look at your back? And I went, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, might as well while I'm here. <laughs> so um, he did some stuff on my back, which I've had loads of times before, but not for quite a while. And um, 
as soon as I stood up off the bench, it just spasmed. And it was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> so um, I then had a really, really painful 45 minute drive home, uh, which was really hard. I mean, I could have pulled over, but if I did, I'd have still had to have got back in and driven home. So anyway, got home and was just like, oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Um, so I spent the rest of the week a isolating from Dave and B really really stressed about my back and in a lot of pain with it like because it's just been stiff and just the nerve pain has been horrendous oh, just like look I know it's not the end of the world but oh, oh, it's been rubbish um, anyway so I did some Pilates last night um, and miraculously it seems to have pretty much done the trick. Um, talk about an 11th hour reprieve. It's loads better today, it's a lot more mobile, it's not as stiff. I've still got nerve pain but it's nothing like what it was. So I've taken some paracetamol um, and I'm going to see if that you know, if that completely gets rid of the nerve pain, then I've got the confidence for tomorrow to know that that paracetamol is effective for that. I don't normally take painkillers because if I do and it masks the pain, I'm then really liable to overdo it and hurt it a lot more again. Um, so I generally don't take painkillers um, and I kind of like work on the pain as being a signal. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've taken some, so I'll I'll see see what what happens. Um, so all that and working full time and trying to get loads done um, because I know I'll be really tired next week, um, and sort of like been trying to keep on top of the housework as well. Again, you know, I don't want to be I'm not going to want to be hoovering and stuff like that next week. But it was desperate, so. Um, yeah, just had a, a bit of a turbulent week, shall we say. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow is happening. Um, it's 30 miles. It's 3,600-ish feet. So it's quite lumpy. Um, and it's all around the Yorkshire Wolds. It's a beautiful route. Um, the weather is meant to be about 20 degrees and cloudy, which is what it is today. And this is perfect. Like, that's absolutely perfect for me. Um, the grass will probably be dewy and wet to begin with. So um, I'm going to take a change of socks because my feet will get wet, which is not good. Um, and I've got some stuff called trench foot cream to put on my feet to stop them getting macerated when they get wet. So that's delightful. Uh, so I need to make sure that I remember to um, change my socks and reapply the trench cream on one of the stops probably halfway around. I've got all my food sorted. <laughs> um, sort of basically an all day picnic because, you know, if you don't keep eating, you're not going to keep going. So um, lots of food to carry um, and water bottles and all that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's all out on the kitchen table. I've been gradually well, I've had it out most of the week because I thought, let's get it done now. And then I've got a couple of days to remember the things I've forgotten. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to feel organised with all that. Um, so, yeah, I'm very nervous, obviously. Um, excited as well, especially now my back's feeling a lot better today. Um, and, yeah, uh, so... I've had all that going on in my head and then also we have yarn because that's what we're here for um so it's it's sort of been a quiet week on the yarn front because again i've just had my head down working on wholesale orders this week um and they are both now fully dyed uh one is ready to pack up and ship uh today and that is for yarn o'clock and it's Brimham Bio Fingering Weight. So I can show you a little bit because it's not packed up yet, which is why I wanted to, I wanted to film the shed cast now before we pack it up so that I could show you what I've made. 
Um, so this is beach glass, a nice gently speckled colourway. And we have red goose foot. And we have rock pool. Uh, what else have we got? Hyssop. Um, summer harvest. Um, 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 we have heliotrope, which is more similar to the red goose foot than I had intended. Um, so I might have to just tweak the recipe for that a little bit again. Um, meadow rue, nice delicate pink there. And sweet pea, which is, I hope you can see that, a lovely mix of pastel colours like a, a watercolour sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, so they are off to yarn o'clock. And then the other one that's going out next after that is uh, for Find Me Knitting. Um, so that's, I'm trying to remember now, mostly been Keld Fingering and Keld Aran, I think, if not entirely. Um, so I've got some of the Keld Fingering here. Um, so this is waiting to be twisted up and the rest of it's sort of in the garage and on the drying rack. Um, this colourway is Waterfall. I actually have, in fact, I've got a Tiny Shoots top, which is what this is, made in Boland Four Ply in this colour. I should have worn that, shouldn't I? Um, so that's Keld Fingering Waterfall and Tide. There's 10 skeins of that one, 10 or 15, 10 I think. Lost, lost track. My mind is a bit frazzled this week. Um, so yeah, so that's next. Um, the wholesale order for Germany is packed up and that will ship on Monday. Um, so that's awesome. The Rosedale 4 ply update, which is coming next, that's still in a state of waiting to be twisted and labelled. Um, so that will be after this. Uh, so hopefully next week I'll be able to talk about our next update I might even get it photographed and on the website, which would be amazing. Um, so that's, yeah, that's everything. Um, I haven't got much reading done this week because I have been binge watching. Um, so I'm just looking at the time. Oh, Deb will be here in a minute. I've been binge watching um, Only Murders in the Building. Highly recommended. There's there's knitwear in season one, there's even more knitwear in season two. Um, and it's really, really good. So I've been binge watching, binge watching that. I um, haven't actually even got much knitting done, if I'm honest. So, um, but I'll show you where I'm up to with all that next week. Um, the only other thing that I can think of that's happening this week, today, is that Kismet, um, well, Rachel, who designed the Kismet jumper is releasing the Kismet cowl today. Um, so we're going to find out what the yarn requirements are for that and put together some packs for it. Um, so that's really cool. Um, cause I've like, I've, you know, seen pictures of it and I'm thinking, well, we've got five gram yarnlings. So you could, you could make one with like where each row of fair isle, you could do it with a, a yarnling maybe. We've got mini skeins, 20 gram mini skeins, so you could mix and match those. And then of course, Milburn comes in 50 gram balls and there's loads of color combination options for that. And then of course we've got all that hand dyed yarn as well. So um, there's like, my, my head's kind of swimming with um, yarn options for Kismet. But I think what we'll do is um, start with just Milburn packs for the moment. Um, and yeah, and just see. So, uh, so that's really cool. Looking forward to that. Um, I think that's it, which is really good because it's 9.59 and I need to go and unlock the gate so that Debbie can get into work. So I will see you next week. <sighs> we'll hopefully be telling you that I completed my race, but who knows? Um, I'll have to just take it one step at a time and see how far I get. Uh, 
and yeah that's it for this week so thank you for watching and see you next week bye